All right, guys. So this is my last video, man. I did two tray block shoes already. This was supposed to be my third one, but it got a tray block set. My apologies if I can't talk well. Still have my asthma infection. Uh, been my second week. I'm in my 11th day. I think Tuesday will be 14 days. So I'm in my 12th day. My apologies. <coughs> so, like I was saying before, pretty much uh, I got these. I had this shoe before. I sent the offer. So I did, two, I did a trade previously before this, which I got the LeBron 19s. If you check that video out. And then I got the... Uh, and then the company for trade block which now they have a come uh a page which is called trade desk which you could trade shoes with them pretty much did that and they accept all sizes all conditions but they did not accept my shoes because they thought they were fake so i had to communicate with them back and forward <coughs> <coughs> my voice is shot man oh my god <clears throat> can't really talk that much I had to go back and forward with them because they were saying they were un unauthenticated, which it pretty much means they're fake. Uh, back forward message. This took about like three or four days, and then they didn't want to pay my. F they didn't want to give me my money back for the fees because if you send a shoe and it's fake, you're not getting your fifty dollars back. It's forty five dollars for the shoe, plus another two fifty, another two fifty for the inbound insurance, and then the back, uh, back. And then shipping it back insurance in case it gets lost or stolen. Uh, I don't know what kind of compensation they'll give you, but that. So this is my shoe that I bought in Adidas Confirm app. It's a uh, size 11. It is a Yeezy 350 Rec 4, size 11. So when I got it, I thought it was a size 11, but I don't know who made a mistake. So regular box and everything, you know usually what a easy 350 is when i got these bad boys it was supposed to be a size 11 and a half when i trade it when i trade it to trade this it's supposed to be a size 11 and a half my bad apologies and uh i don't know what happened but for instance this is a size 11 so i don't know who's in the wrong for this because i did check my videos but i did have size 11 and a half but uh this is the this is the weird part about it when i traded these bad boys if you guys check it says it's it says here us size 11 and a half and then 11 d width and then all the regular from all the other all the other places but when they were checking the shoot when the <laughs> oh my god when they were checking the shoes and trade this it was a size give me a sec zoom in right there it was a size 11 so someone made a mistake i don't know if it was adidas confirm i when i purchased these shoes from them or if it was trade this but that is the reason why they told me my shoes were fake they were like these are not legit man and then, I, like I was saying, literally took about four days or probably like a week to communicate, get my money back to try and make more YouTube videos for you guys. And, yeah, I was kind of pretty pissed about it because I was like, this trade, I would have got a Jordan, I would have got the Jordan 11 Gratitudes or Gratefuls and $100 for this Yeezy. So I was pretty much coming up a little bit so i was gonna have another hundred dollars to trade in trade block you know or just cash it out and uh do other videos or buy another shoe so yeah so they're both size 11 but that's pretty weird man because the box the box says 11 11 and a half yeah so that's actually a defect right there so i'm i could actually send these back and try to do another trade with trade this the pretty much account of trade block but i don't know if they're gonna accept it though because last time they when they did it i had these listed as 11 and a half and it's a size 11 even though i don't know who made the mistake it was adidas or it was trade block so that's what happened guys and yeah 
I mean, not much to say, man. It says 11 US here. But then it says 11 D here, so. I mean, that's crazy. I was not expecting this. Yeah. And then if you scan it, and then you can't even, I can't even. Let me take another puff. Let me puff some asthma inhalers, man. Like, I'm literally using this one that they gave me to refill from asthma inhalers. Yeah, so I don't know if you guys use asthma inhalers. I have an asthma infection, but they gave me pills for the infection. But I'm using this, see if it helps it more better. So, it's like... <coughs> <coughs> so, I just shake it. I don't know if you guys have asthma, you guys know. This is how I inhale it. A lot of people do it slow, but... <sighs> like, I hold it, and then I let it all out. Just so I could, like... I, oh, I don't know if it's really effective or not, but to try to get all the mucus out of the infection, well, that does it with the pills, you know, but to relieve the pain, but yeah. But if you think about it, like I still have the wheezy noise, look like, well, it's not bad right now because I took this, but yeah. <coughs> but. Yeah, that's pretty much it, man. Um, I don't know what to do with this trade. So I did list this back again. My apologies, I'm back again. Sorry about that. I had to take a little bit of more aspirin inhalers. Technically, you're only supposed to take them, I think, like four or six hours a day. Not every day. Like, I've been taking them less than 30 minutes, man, because it's just like, if I'm going to talk to you guys, I'll try to make some videos. I'm like, yo, I need my voice, man, especially if you're doing YouTube. So... I listed these back again in trade block size 11. I put a replacement box because it is a replacement box, even though it's the original box. And I did uh, manage to say that uh, uh, whoever accepts this trade, I'm telling them it is a size 11 because of the fact that the fact that it's not a size 11 and a half, which half a size matters. But the thing too is uh, if you trade in trade block, the 40 or 45 dollars to 50 dollars you might get charged if you don't put the right size of the oh. descriptions especially because of that but like i was saying yeah so other than that guys i'll see you guys around man like share subscribe truly appreciate the uh truly appreciate you guys uh not uh i haven't done videos so i have been out like i was telling you the only thing I've been doing is just fitness videos, less than a minute on those shorts. And just speaking to you guys, that was my father in the background. Uh, but yeah, uh, I don't know what I could get for these. I uh, just have to find a person that's a size 11 and send them an offer and tell them like, hey, uh, made, made a, pretty much I, I, I told two people already. They're like, oh, if it was a size 11, then I would accept them. But it's a size, no, 11 and a half. But it's a size 11. It's like it's a little bit too narrow, you know. So, yeah. That's pretty much what happened, guys. That was, uh, that's pretty much my story of my Yeezy 350 fakes. Not a size 11 and a half. But it's a size 11. I traded these. And uh, literally, that's how I purchased them from Adidas Confirm app. I don't know, man. I double checked them. Last time, they were size 11 when I shipped them out of UPS. But uh, I guess they made a mistake, and uh, it was a huge mistake because it cost me $50 for the training fees, and it cost me the shoe that I was supposed to get and the $100. So, I mean, not a big deal, but it was just a lot of communication, a lot of email, emailing the company, like, hey, yo, what's going on? Waiting for my shoe to get back, then doing this video, then I got sick, I got a lung infection. So, yeah, so but it was all over the place, but... Appreciate the support and love, guys. If you guys like to donate, my cash app, my PayPal, my Venmo at the bottom. I uh, hit that like button. Subscribe for free. You know, you don't have to. You don't have to uh, donate, but it does. It does truly so uh, support my channel to get these videos out here. Buy some shoes, review them, test them for you guys. Especially if you're, in a, especially if you're a big guy, you guys want comfortable shoes. You know, you guys want something that's like you can wear all day or something like casual. But yeah. Oh my god, this asthma is killing this asthma is killing me, man. <coughs> mm. But uh that's pretty much it guys. Whew. 
Still, I'm sweating bricks, man. Well, my shirt's already just wrenched, just making three YouTube videos. Uh Oh, I still got to do the one minute short video, so I'll do it right now. But all right. Uh, that's pretty much what I was talking about. Um, I like these two. I'm probably my trend for a size 11 and a half, I want to say. Easy, easy, uh, easy 700s. Because this is an iconic colorway, too. It's, it's, I mean, a lot of people will like this, you know, but yeah. All right. All right. Uh, adios, guys, and uh, ciao. <laughs> Oh my god, it's, it's a beautiful shoe, but 350s are not meant for big guys. It just feels like I'm gonna break my ankle, to be honest. I had a pair before, literally, guys. I was taking out talking about this and sold them to Cool Kicks for probably less than like 150. They were going for like 400. Yeah, but that's the part of recently games. So, buy low, sell high.